So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here and today we're checking out a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system that honestly surprised me. This is the TP-Link Deco BE5000. This is one of the most affordable Wi-Fi 7 mesh kits that's currently out right now. Just $249 for a three pack and this brings next generation performance to regular homes without a crazy price tag. So today's video we're going to quickly unbox it, put it to the test. Of course if you're new to the channel subscribe, smash the notification bell let's go now before we jump into it big thanks to tp link for sponsoring this video now as always even though this is a sponsored review all the thoughts and opinions are of my own. So inside the box, of course, we're going to have a nice presentation as TP-Link normally does. We're going to have the three deco units along with the power adapters as well as an Ethernet cable. So each unit is going to be identical and one is going to be the main, but it doesn't matter which one of these. Whichever one you set up first is going to be your main device and you can always switch in later in the application. First impression is just that these are really well built. Uh, these are pretty enough to where if I wanted to leave it out, I can go ahead and do so. This can seamlessly blend into any environment. As far as the ports, you're going to have two 2.5 gigabit ports. These ports are going to be auto sensing. So the main unit, one's going to be plugged into your modem. And then you have a free Ethernet port to plug in additional devices. Now on the satellite units, there's different ways you can configure them. You can either run them through an Ethernet connection, which I do recommend if you have that available to you. Or they can connect wirelessly to the main node and provide connectivity that way those ports if it's connected wirelessly you're going to have two ports on each unit that you can plug in additional devices but if you wanted to stretch this out you can also plug in an unmanaged switch or something to any one of these devices for additional ethernet now once you figure out how you want to set everything up for me i went ahead and i just first got everything connected on my table then i'll move them around to where i'm actually going to leave them once the first unit is plugged in you download the tp deco application make sure it's plugged into your modem or router so the first node is going to detect through the app and the others will join the network automatically honestly this setup took about five minutes and so it seems like wi-fi 6 just came out now we're talking about wi-fi 7 so why should you care about wi-fi 7 right now well Essentially, this is the next generation wireless. It's faster, more efficient, and it's designed for the next gen of connected devices that we all already have. The fact is over 230 million Wi-Fi 7 devices shipped last year, and that number is expected to hit 2 billion by 2028. Now, newer devices like your iPhone 16, iPhone 17, your Samsung Galaxy S24, S25 Ultra, and even the Z Flip 7, which I have, you can see the Wi-Fi 7 symbol at the top, and this gets passed on to Surface laptops, other devices. These are already running Wi-Fi 7, and you notice the difference. So having Wi-Fi 7 in your router today just means that you're already future proof for what's coming next. So let's jump right into it and talk about performance because this unit delivers. Now the BE5000 pushes speeds up to 4.3 gigabits per second on the 5 gigahertz band and about 688 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz. This is also equipped with MLO or multi-link operation as well as 4K QAM which basically means faster and more stable connection even when your home is full of devices. Now I ran some real world tests streaming on the 4K television, streaming on my computers, gaming, as well as uploading and downloading files. And I must say that this handles those tasks effortlessly. No lag, no buffering, just smooth connection across the board. Now I did do some Wi-Fi speed tests as well. Uh, I should let you guys know that in my current setup, I am paying for 500 megabits per second download and about 20 upload. And as you can see, no matter which node or which unit I went to, I was getting decent or great speeds around the house. Now coverage is another big win here for this unit. Now the three pack setup can cover up to 6,600 square feet and support over 150 devices. Now, in my home, I do have a two-story home and most of the living space is upstairs. What I did, I placed two units upstairs. So one's gonna be next to my router and the other one in my master bedroom. And then downstairs, I placed the third unit. For me, I did have the ability to wire both units in, as you can see there on the app. Again, if you're not able to wire, you can go wirelessly. Just the bubble, my coverage 
is 100% complete. And to prove this, I did a simple test. I walked from my office through my living room, out the backyard while on FaceTime, and it never dropped once or stuttered. Now that's the beauty of Wi-Fi mesh. Your devices move seamlessly between the units without losing signal, and you can actually watch it happen inside the Deco application, which shows live signal strength as you move around the house. Each Deco BE5000 unit, as I mentioned, has two 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports. So you can plug in gaming consoles, you can plug in your network attached storage, your 4K or 8K television directly for fast connection. Now in my house, of course, we have two kids. My wife's always doing stuff. I'm always doing stuff. I do have a couple network attached storages connected. So we're always streaming, we're always gaming at the same time. And this setup didn't flinch, even during high traffic hours i'm talking about saturdays when everyone's home being lazy the performance stay consistent honestly i feel like having this provides an enterprise level wi-fi without needing a support group or support team to manage your system now the deco app makes managing your network super easy you can see what devices are connected you can run speed tests prioritize bandwidth to your gaming pc smart tvs or other equipment that you want to make sure has the the best connection now under the wi-fi settings you do have a couple options you can see you do have your 2.45 gigahertz up top but below you do have the option to also enable your mlo or your multi-link operation so we already touched on multi-link operation but what it is so mlo enables wi-fi 7 clients to connect to multiple bands simultaneously to obtain higher network speeds and lower latency so this is a good thing to have on if you have devices that are wi-fi 7 however not all devices are going to be compatible now the app also includes tp link home shield which is going to give you parental controls network security as well as advanced qos or quality of service settings you can pause wi-fi on certain devices block content and even keep your network safe from intrusion from the application on your phone so overall i like the app it's simple it's intuitive and i think it's something every home should have built in so after testing this out for a week i can confidently say that the tp link deco be 5000 and hit the sweet spot between performance as well as value. You're getting Wi-Fi 7 speeds, excellent coverage, solid security features, and a dead simple setup, all for $249 for a three pack. And that's honestly outstanding for what it delivers. So if you've been dealing with slow spots, buffering, constant dropouts, this is a real affordable fix. And it's one of the upgrades that makes your whole home just feels faster and more reliable. So of course, I'll be dropping a link in the description where you can go ahead and pick it up. If you have any questions about this device to set up just the day-to-day -day use drop it in the comments and also let me know in the comments are you planning to upgrade to wi-fi 7 this year again big shout out to tp link for sponsoring this video thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one